Quidagis Leprechauns, welcome to this great and noble quest uh, in the YouTube comments section, apparently. Now, for context, this is on the video on Adrian von Ziegler's channel. I'll link that in the description, as always. And um, it, it's on his video, Two Hours of Fantasy Music. That will also be in the description. But here is a quest that we must embark upon. This music is so pretty. Who wants to go on a fantasy quest with me? As you can see, there's been quite a quest. So are you ready? Then we shall embark on this great and noble quest. Let us be all. Me! Awesome. I will pack some biscuits. We quest at dawn. When a guy slash girl named Cream Beans asks me to go on a fantasy quest, I'm usually a bit skeptic. But biscuits aren't fault, so I'm likely gullible. Okay, yes, I admit, my username is atrocious, and I should get something that matches my glorious femaleness. Aha! A new party member, welcome! Here are your biscuits, a nice selection of nice and rich tea. We shall quest after lunch. Lunch? Tea? Femaleness? This is gonna be awesome. Aha! Welcome to the quest! Has everyone brought their fantasy weapons, packed lunches, and... Yeah, leather armor? We are now very late for our questing. Aye, sir! Let's hope we don't destroy anything, eh? But what's a quest without a little destruction? True, true. Okay, we can destroy a little bit. Preferably an evildoer's castle. So, just to clarify, we know we have two bears and a rabbit on this journey. But what's a scene-ger? My rabbity friend, you will be a perfect night guard and chef. Our questers, well mostly animal based, shall be the best out bear. A scene-ger. Can't say I have seen one of those. Makes, I don't know, sound. Whatever that is. Right! Final roll call for last minute takers. Ready to roar and cause pleasant mischief. Oh, I wanna join the fantasy quest with all. Can I can become the wizard. I'm pretty sure we're still recruiting. What types of spells can you cast? Do you have any allergies to animals? Well, I could summon cats. And I have allergies with cats. I, uh, my dream, however, is to become the most powerful wizard and with all the spells of all the times. Hmm. Well, I do know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy who knows a squirrel who happens to have a spell that turns people into goldfish. I'm not sure how it helps you, though. Really? But I don't have the spell to talk to squirrels. True, but you can talk to red pandas, which can talk to muskrats, which can talk to beavers, which I believe speak Portuguese. So, all we need is a Portuguese-speaking squirrel, and we've got ourselves a spell. Who's with me? I know a guy who knows a different squirrel, who knows a bird that has a spell to change the color of leaves. Okay, so, an allergic to cats wizard, who knows a spell to summon cats, a rabbit, a bente, a maya, and a couple of bears walk into the woods. They are beginning their quest. So, what is our first quest? I believe we are on the quest of the colorful canary, which will transition into the quest of the squawking squirrels. Or maybe I just made those up. I mean, I am eating biscuits. Need more members, a warrior, a rogue, and a healer. That's a good point. Hey, Cream Beans, what's your specialty? I should actually probably get a different voice to reflect her glorious femaleness. Ahem. My specialty is organizing quests. No, wait. Healer. I call dibs on healer. I mean, my name is literally Care. Why, yes, Fox Bear. How did you know that's what our quest was? Are you a mind reader? Well, so, now we need a warrior and a rogue. I have two specialties. I are a battle wizard and a grammar wizard. I can use a sword and a squirrel teach me a spell to turn sticks into swords. Did someone say rogue? Looks around before vanishing into the shadows. Oh, my dear Cream Beans McBear, I am indeed a mind reader, but I wouldn't rely on that skill for me. At times it is correct, and at other times it causes random nearby objects and creatures to dance. Either way, it's entertaining, just not always useful. Coming on his great white horse and knowing the very recent news about the gathering for the more epic quest since the age of the old relentless ox oxygen breathing dragons interrupts the gang. 
I am a lady. My name is Tristan, son of the great warrior Tristano from the house Little Wolf. I'm willing to give my sword in honor for this epic quest. I'm also an expert at speaking Portuguese, so I can persuade the squirrel to teach our great wizard the spell. Swings his sword around to show his great sword and armor. Ah, oh, a healer! Points to self. Wizard! Mind reader! A rogue! A mind reader! I am very impressed with your skills, noble fox bear. And a mighty warrior! Is impressed by warrior Tristan's sword yielding ability. Welcome to our quest, everybody! Shall we begin our quest? Wait, do we have a mascot? The rabbit? And wait, wait, Care Bear, you speak Spanish? A wizard can speak many languages. I think the blue squirrels can speak Spanish and they have more spells. But my fellow wizard, the blue squirrels live up north in a valley of doom and we don't have enough food and resources to travel that long distance. Don't worry, a squirrel taught me another spell to summon orange juice and bread. So let's go. Oh, will, 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 there, will, there, will there be werewolves? I don't believe there are any werewolves in this forest, but there are reports of were-rats, so we still need to be cautious. Hmm, were-rats, eh? Well, are they a threat? Uh, if so, then aren't we screwed? Uh, they're probably capable of spreading their transformation through their saliva seeping into the wounds of mortal men and women. Let's be careful. You never know what lurks. Let's move forward, then. Ah, oh, sorry, I got lost. The only thing I can say in Spanish is sorry, lo siento. I hear that were-rats can become familiars if you calm them down. Okay, are we ready to set off? Any last minute problems slash concerns slash questers? Oh my god! We could summon cats! Cats! I'm thinking of an epic rat cat battle in the future. Yeah, an epic fight in where rat versus me and my spells of cats. The problem is the allergies. Hmm, this is true. Hey team, any suggestions? Maybe we need a were cat in the team. How about a clothes peg for your nose to stop sneezing? Also, need any healing? Can't the sorcerer just make some kind of potion to make him not sneezy? I tried reading the sorcerer's mind. Apparently they can make him not grumpy, bashful, sleepy, or dark, but not sneezy. It's all part of his dwarf and potion series. Can the potions make us all dance, though? I have heard of Hoagie Wonderland, but not sure if it's a potion or not. However, there is a magical shoe that creates an uncontrollable urge to river dance. Why do you ask, noble Tristan? A warrior like myself has an uncontrollable desire for parties and having fun with the dwarves from the northwest when I'm not fighting. But to be honest, mighty Care Bear, the dwarves are not the best dancers. I can always deploy foxy mind reading and hope for the dance result. Many dwarves suffer from a birth disorder called jitterbugs. At birth, it causes uncontrollable shaking and movement for short periods. The only long-term effect is that when they choose to shake, i.e. dancing, they cannot coordinate well. This explains why many dwarves drink so much. Drunken movements become the excuse for their bad dancing. I don't know where we are. We forgot a navigator. I'm just a simple healer, flails. But it looks like we are in a swamp of some kind. Don't worry, rabbit. We all know you aren't a mascot, really. I didn't know that about dwarves. I did know that elves can't wiggle their ears, though. Go. Yes, we must go now. We have been dithering for centuries. I had a teacher with your name. I'm mildly weirded out. Interlude about being weird? Alright, what has happened to our quest? My guess is that the adventure is being told like a TV series and that the next episode is being held off for the actors to go back to school soon. That makes a lot of sense. Best TV show ever. Happy to be a supporting character. Suddenly, a large man wearing black armor appears with his sword drawn. Stop right there! To pass, you must answer these riddles three. It's not important. Now, first riddle. What moves through a city but always stay put at the same time? Slits my own wrist and I fall over dead. Okay, well that went from zero to hundred real fast. What are the riddles? I'm amazing at riddles. Ninja la kill, nice armor, tall man, fox bear, wipes a tear, loyal quester. Aw shucks, Care Bear. If it weren't for you, I'd have just been sitting at home piloting a fire-breathing robot, eating gourmet steaks, and swimming in a personal lavender-scented pool made from diamonds. But now I'm on this epic adventure, traveling the woods with new friends. With biscuits. Smiles with joy. The large man in black shining armor just explodes and blood flies everywhere. 
I think half of our troop went home. Maybe we should re-recruit? I'm back! Guys, do not eat those gross multicolor leaves. Not edible. Right, how's our quest? Fox's body is encased in petrified rock. A piece of one of the multicolored leaves can still be seen hanging from the fox's mouth. The short figure in the large coat silently comes forward. Without saying a word, she picks a different multicolored leaf and puts it in the fox's mouth. The rock encasing disappears, but insert what happens next. Select one for fox begins speaking an ancient language. Select two for fox suddenly attacks the team uncontrollably. Select 3 for Fox returns to normal but now has visions of future events. Or insert your own number slash option here. Call lines are now open. I choose option 1. Hey, does anyone have a map? That Sasquatch back there decide to use it as a napkin. I can be your druidic tour guide. Welcome aboard, explorer. Now, do we have someone with managerial experience? Because this quest is a mess. We have lost so many a quester to nefarious foodstuffs, a couple to poor spellcasting, and some that have just been plain lost. Will you accept any undead on your quest? I shall consult the forest for the best route for the most adventure. Swooies. Kek zon ro out perul ezekwa. Fox stares puzzled at the remaining group members. Futal il loner gib. As long as you can keep all rotting body parts if you have them to yourself. Fox bear, what's happened? Please, charades me what's going on. More skeletal than flesh, so I will try. Fox, it's okay, I can't eat you. Ang. Bo. Irev. Dweebz. Care bear. Regak. Aldregep. I. Whenever you. I call Ilbuf Lone Rout Castle. Fox Bear ponders the taste and points to the multicolored leaves with fear and confusion. Get Kagar Sis Ragar No Red Nell. Ah, you ate that stupid red leaf. Stay still, this will only hurt for a minute. Wax Fox Bear's head against the tree. Better? Pretty Care Bear, can you make sure that your fox friend doesn't move for an hour while I do a few tests? UJ Regil Swellblur Lubes Fuse. Uh, um, I mean, wait, what? How did I? How do I? Yikes! Faints. Oh, that's just a side effect from your skull meeting the tree. You'll be fine in a couple of hours. Would it be too much of a trouble to have an inventory count so I know what supplies we have left? I am a dragon fairy, meaning I can control fire and have some qualities of the dragon. Uh, I'm a half dragon. Brass breathes fire, fighter. I think the party disembarked, sir, but if they return, feel free to join in. Nope, I'm still here. Was waiting for some new party members. Me so late. By the way, I'm a dark wolf, and we'll be happy to come on your quest. Welcome aboard. Fantastic. When are we setting out? Well, we can set out immediately. But first, we need to find our way out of this forsaken forest. Hmm, how about this? Pulls out Emerald. Not useful. If you could find a map, that would help. Hmm, okay. Starts randomly floating. Uh-oh. Run! Eyes turn purple and skin turns pale. Okay. Walks towards a nearby tree and collapses into a pile of bones. Perks of being undead. So... Are there any more biscuits? Does this mean Care Bear has revealed her true identity? Shoots a few fireballs here and there and then turns back to normal. Ugh, why powers? Reforms. That was close. And Fox Bear, there are some biscuits left. Catches up to the others. Hey guys, where are we heading to? I found the way out of the forest while I was coming back. Very convenient, I know, but it's true. Well, we were going to head out of the forest and go to the city to have you and Fox Bear pick up supplies. Since I'm undead and the city's don't really like the undead. Actually, I'm more related to the undead than to the regular people as I am their queen. Yay, but at least you look human while I am half bone. Guys, I was running over in the I saw bridge. There's a small bridge that crosses over a pond to the west in the forest. I saw a hut that looked empty. Maybe we can rest there for tonight? We've been in this forest for quite a while now. 
Sure, we can go there. I'll pull first guard for the night. Stretches paused. That was some much needed rest. So, Queen Abby, you said you know where the exit is. Will you lead the way? Sure. Teleports away. Oh, goodness. Hmm? Few newcomers. Did we seriously just get a new quester? Delightful. But alas, I do believe our crew is still trying to catch that Portuguese-speaking squirrel. That darn squirrel, we still haven't caught him after all these centuries. Pops into existence. Greeting. I am a bard who plays a ukulele. Is it too late to join you, merry group? Estelvo greetings, singing bird. My name is Foxbear, and I am an animal just like you. Oh, you said bard, not bird. Uh, um, I mean... Roar. Ah, you misunderstand. I don't sing, I play the ukulele. Strums and strident. Well, in my defense, most birds are singers. I'm sure you can see how I made that mistake. Anywho, I'm glad to meet a musician out here in the middle of the forest. What great adventures are you on this day? Of course, mistakes happen. Well, I'm merely adventuring through life, as of now. Just wandering around, enjoying the sights, sounds, and food. Ah, you sound a lot like my adventures. Longing to experience the tastes of life, music, food, companionship. The journeys are of true gems of living. I'm not sure where our adventurer has gone, or if they will ever return. But I am happy to stay here and enjoy the wonders of the music in the air while I wait to see. You are welcome to join me. And if we gain enough adventurers before they return, then we can all embark on a new journey. Very well, wait we shall, sits on a rock. Here are some lemon cakes if you want any. Sets aside a basket of cakes that plays ukulele cheerily. As the wandering crew, which has reassigned itself several times over the course of the year, made its way through this incredibly large forest, otherwise known as Mirkwood, they began to notice a clearing in the distance. The bridge that led out of the woods was finally within reach. Now, with music and biscuits in tow, the remaining adventurers made their way towards the exit and onto the glories that their fun-filled adventure had in store. Yay! Plays ukulele as we walk. Well, if my memory serves me correctly, which it should because I just reread it in the thread above, we are still on the quest for the colorful canary. Legend has it that there is a rare breed of canary that when it sings, its feathers shimmer in all different colors of the rainbow. Surely finding such a creature and seeing it with our own eyes would be a treat worthy of grand adventure. But we have just spent the past year being lost in the woods. I mean, the music was just lovely, but I could definitely go with the whole not being petrified in stone thing. Maybe it's time we detour and try something new. Or is the allure of the original quest still strong within us? Hmm. So, my lovely bard, not bird friend, what say you, Estelle Vu? Well, this bird does sound lovely, but if we are to detour, where should we go? Well, that's where you come in, my mystical musical friend. If no one else has any input, then we can go wherever we please. Then let us traverse to the hot springs of the low cliff side of Mount Amethyst, adjacent to the crystal winter woods. I hear the water is very relaxing with a splendid view of the landscape, although the journey will become rather chilly before we get there. Although, if you'd rather not face the cold, I could come up with something else if you'd like. Hmm, I think the hot springs of Mount Amethyst sound like an amazing adventure. What a way to relax after a long, hard year of traveling. Or not traveling, actually. Let's take a short trip to the village to gather supplies, and possibly recruit a few more friends on the adventure. And then we're off. Fantastic! We'll need blankets, rations, bedrolls, should we get a tent, and other supplies to brave the snowy region of Catalorn. Drimhead, would you like to join us? Hmm, the English are not very good, so no join. Are you sure? I think your English is plenty good to go on an adventure, but if you really don't want to join, then it's up to you, I guess. Yeah, well, I will join the journey. Yeah, more merry men. To the supply store, then off to the hot springs. Strums a victory tune. Wonderful, and yes, we definitely should have a tent. You know, just in case we need to restore some HP on this journey. So, Drimhead, can you tell us something about yourself? Do you have a specialty? If not, it's fine. We can still enjoy you if you are just a happy traveler. Well, I'm an old dwarf warrior from Iron Hills. 
Splendid. Your knowledge and experience will surely come in handy on our quest. Hold on. Before you guys are going on your fantasy adventure, may I join your quest? For me it is okay, I don't know about the others. Dear Banana Man, I hope you are still interested. I think he is already home in his kingdom. Ooh. Hmm, well then, I suppose we need to carry on with whomever we have. I think we might have some success if we started to plot out the narrative in segments, like if one person writes a paragraph or two, and then another takes over the story to tell what is occurring. That is, if people are interested in things such as that. And here, the story diverges forever, and Fox Bear is no longer to be seen. So, you guys still recruiting? If so, a secret trading magic item wielding merchant would like to join. Also, are there any more biscuits? I hear off in the west there are giant acid spitting worms that need to be dealt with. Anyone up for the adventure? I volunteer as tribute! To the worms? Equip staff and cloak. Indeed, my friend. Well, let's go. We can use you as bait. Join me and EJ on my magic horseless carriage. We must ride through the haunted woods to get to the worms. Here comes Snoutlow. Oi, oi, oi. Snoutlow, what can you do? What are your talents? Well, let's see. I'll ride a monstrous nightmare. Hookvan, get over here. I use a warhammer for my information watch, whatever that is. Are you up for killing some giant worms? Sure. Well, welcome. We have Hawkins. He seems to be a wizard of type and has volunteered as a sacrifice. But before we get to the worms, we venture through the haunted wood. I'll be riding my magic carriage. I am a researcher of magical phenomena and a collector of magic trinkets. Wait, did you just see that tree move? And so what happens next? Yes! Hook burn! Fire! Don't fire everything that moves! Never mind, it just ate that bunny. Shoot it! My Minotaur Shaman is ready to go. Then join us on taking on the giant acid spitting worms in the west. Kill me! And here is the end. The end of the quest. The quest, it seems, has been somewhat abandoned, which is rather sad because it was interesting. Fox Bear, pretty much with his departure, the quest went down a dead path and here it now rests, so it is sad, but we shall see what happens, if anything ever does happen once again. And yet, there is still hope. I come late to the ruins of this long adventure. Are there any yet will venture anymore? And thus the adventure is halted for now. Hopefully it is not hopefully it is not at its end quite yet, but we shall see. We shall see what comes of it. Anyway, go check out this video, as it's a very good video, very good music. Go check out Adrian Von Ziegler. Check out the comment thread if you want to. Read it for yourself on your own time. There are a few uh, comments that I skipped just because they weren't really relevant to the story, but you know, you can check those out. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.